The island of May is around an hour and a half from the Scottish mainland by boat. The sea off the small island's coast is often rough. On many days, it's impossible to land here. The island is a nature preserve. It's a place where the local birds can nest and hatch their broods undisturbed. Five scientists and their assistants spend a few months here in spring and summer, studying the behavior and development of the avian population. At the height of the breeding season, more than 200,000 birds nest on the tiny island in the North Sea. It's ecologist Mark Newell's fourth summer here. He's concerned about a dramatic drop in the number of migratory birds, including the Atlantic puffin, one of the unofficial national symbols of Scotland. The puffin population has dropped by 30%. Newell checks nesting areas almost every day to weigh and measure chicks. Uh, weight 292. The young birds are getting lighter and lighter. It may be um, it's sort of indicating that there's less food available for them, um, and so they're reaching the size that they would uh, normally fledge um, and the, the weight at that point is lighter, but they still are ready to go to sea. They're physically able to go to sea, but the, um, the, food, the amount of food available to them is less than what it was uh, five or ten years ago. The puffin's main source of nutrition is the sand eel. As the North Sea warms up, the eels are moving to the cooler waters to the north. Now, when the puffins forage, they have to fly farther and they bring back less food. The young offspring are weak and many die. This year, just 41,000 puffins were recorded on the Isle of May. Climatologist John Baxter says that the temperature of the North Sea has climbed by an average three-tenths of a degree in the last 50 years. That's a dramatic change. We have um, a legacy of at least 50 years of greenhouse gas emissions whereby whatever we do now to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the temperature and the climate is going to change as a consequence of the greenhouse gases that are already in the atmosphere. So we, we have to start acting now for our children and our children's children to start seeing some reversal in the, the climate change which is going on in, in, and affecting our seas. Experts estimate that if the temperature rises more than 1.2 degrees Celsius, 38% of Europe's birds will be threatened with extinction. Researchers say that rising water temperatures have wreaked havoc on marine ecosystems. The cycle of the food chain from plankton to fish to seabirds is starting to collapse. We're seeing quite dramatic changes in a short space of time, so it's very difficult to, to look even five years ahead, let alone 30 years. The nesting puffins could soon disappear from Scotland's coast completely. Some scientists worry that they're fighting a lost cause. They're able to see the effect of climate change on the bird populations firsthand, but can do almost nothing to actually stop the cause, global warming. The researchers want to expand their studies to other nesting areas to see how they're being affected by climate change. Some of them say we're now at the brink of the greatest transformation to ever hit the ecosystem in the North Sea.